this is Sassy77. I hope everyone is doing well today. As you know, we try to have my first Grogu show up in every video because he was my first Grogu and most of my videos that have gotten the most views and subscribers are from the Grogu collection. And if you are new to my channel, I'm a lifelong female fan. I have, um, mostly try to keep my videos as wholesome, positive, and happy as I can. So it's all about adding to my nerd collection, my kitty cats. You'll see different things about that. Every now and then I mention my husband and sometimes he appears um, off camera of either a voice or someone in the background. And there's another, there's a new video I'm going to make a short uh, coming up with a new um, item that I need his hands. So if you'll see his hands then that he does exist. Um, so I'm not a crazy cat lady because I'm married. Well, so I broke my rule about a month ago and I made a rant video talking about how unhappy I am with Disney Star Wars. I was very uh, on board with Mandalorian season one and two, um, liked Rogue One, tolerated sequels but the longer things have gone on the more I have found that there were so many things wrong with the sequels um mostly uh you know if you're just real quick you know you're kind of clean in the house kind of have tv on in the background if star wars was coming on you left it on no matter if it was sequels or whatever just to have something in the background ever since mandalorian season one no i'm sorry Mandalorian season two premiere where most of it happens on Tantooine and you've got the crate dragon and everything. It just felt like such a big old love letter to Lucas Star Wars and JJ was off camera and now she's gone. She can hear the my voice getting a little aggravated. But anyway, once I saw season one was pretty awesome as well as season two, but that premiere and we are not even going to talk about the finale because that's very emotional. Um, but with that, I just felt like the whole first two seasons was a love letter to Lucas Star Wars. And after that, after that first episode of season two, I could not watch sequels anymore. So if it's on, I turn the channel. So there you go. That's a, that's a sign here. So I'm moving Grogu because... We're going to be talking about Lucas mostly today and um, some other things that have made me very unhappy. So, all right, <laughs> if you have seen that video um, and that was your first exposure to me, you heard me use a lot of wordy dirts and talk about how bad my biscuits were burning. And what caused me to go ahead and make that video was the preemptive attack on the fans from Kathleen Kennedy, the Terminator of Lucasfilm, as well as Leslie Funko Pop Headland. So, you know, kept it kind of basic, talked about those things, talked about how they owe their jobs to men right now, both because of George Lucas creating this awesome universe, as well as the male, predominantly male fans who have put every, you know, discretionary penny towards it. Their money and mine and other lifelong female fans are what built this for them to come in and tear it down. So, I'm sorry, but we're about to drop some F-bombs. And if you're here for my wholesome content, you might want to, you might want to cut this video off because... I'm actually going to go off about The Acolyte. No, I didn't watch it. I value my time too much. I wasted my time watching Kenobi. And please go to my first video. I'll call that one Rant 1. This one's going to be Rant 2. But that first video explains why that was the beginning of the end for me. Um, and of course... <laughs> Uh, I've not watched any of the other shows after Obi-Wan and the third season of Mandalorian, which they, you know, fucked that one to hell too. So, that's the first F-bomb. I'm sorry. Uh, Geeky Sparkles from Clownfish always tries to say, sorry, Mom. As I've said before, my mom has passed away, so I have no one to apologize to at this point because she would not like me using that word. But I will be using that word, and 
I'm going to go ahead and get the litany of F-bombs out of the way, if I can. Duck Vader, by the way, a wonderful YouTuber, has characterized me and in, in, in with JJ um, involved in his Ewok. Um, so I appreciate this, and he's probably going to have to do a new one. All right, so I'm going to do my list of people first to fuck off. All right. So, fuck you, Kathleen Kennedy. Fuck you, Leslie Funko Pop Headland. I'm coming back to you, bitch. You're going to be the majority of this video. Fuck Dave Filoni. Fuck Pablo Hidalgo for what he did to Star Wars Theory. And he keeps allowing this bullshit to happen to our Star Wars. Fuck Disney shills. And I'm going to say fuck you to the Raylo whatever, Cremere whatever fans. I, I had no problem with Raylos, okay? Other than finding out after, <laughs> afterwards that they were hounding Adam Driver's wife like people get a fucking life. But anyhow, I will be going after the, I can't remember what they call them now. But anyhow, I'll be going after uh, Funko Pop more than anybody else. And I will reveal why. No, I have not watched the Acolyte. I have seen, I have enjoyed the coverage of making fun of them. I've seen several outtakes of the different um, story beats of each episode. I have engaged on Twitter just a little bit um, with a couple of people. But some of the posts that I read, it makes my eye cross at the just pure stupidity of people. All right, let's get this out of the way. The reason why I say, um, uh, fuck you... <laughs> To Leslie Headland, Funko Pop Head. I don't like to call her by a name. And I don't like to go after people's looks. You see, I don't appear on camera. I, I don't have the self-esteem to appear on camera. Um, so, whatever. So, I don't like to go after people's looks. But I do think that the evil in her heart, uh, she has deserved it. And I'll tell you why. And this is going to trigger some people. And I'll have to disguise my language somewhat. Um, <laughs> but she was Weinstein's assistant for a while. She had to have known what was going on. The fact that this bitch keeps getting jobs writing stuff for Taurus Locust fans, as I call them, is proof that she knows some shit. Whether she held somebody down, participated in it, fed them to the predator, or covered it up. She's just as awful as he is, if not more, because I'm going to say this now. Any woman who uh, aids and abets a man or another woman of actually essaying another woman is the worst kind of evil. You are a betrayal to the sisterhood. Bottom line, yes, I'm talking about women's issues about Star Wars because fuck Lucasfilm. Fuck you, Lucasfilm, for hiring this bitch. Not only have you hired her, but you gave her a show that's supposed to be about women's empowerment down the patriarchy. Which you shouldn't do that bullshit in Star Wars. It does not belong. Fuck you. I'm sorry. I'm not even apologizing as much as I did last time. Mark with a C if you're watching. I'm sorry. I can't apologize anymore. Because this has me so pissed. I let the show play out. <laughs> I thought, now you may have seen, if you follow me on X, you do see some of my comments. My complaint sometimes about Star new Star Wars has been we don't have a proper romance. We see random kisses that make no sense, that you don't know where it came from. We, the most romantic thing I think we saw... And, I, and I'm talking live action, so any of you shills who bring your asses in here and are brave enough to comment, don't even come at me with Rebels and Hera and Kanan because that was never really outright. Like, how the fuck did they end up having a baby? Or having a child together? Because it was not... We did not see real romance in that. But anyway, I digress. The most romantic thing we saw was Frog Lady reuniting with her husband. That was actually an emotional scene, right? If you if you watched Mando. Um, but anyhow, 
so my theory for this show was, of course, it would be man-hating. Of course, it would be, you have a dick, you are evil. You are Jedi, you are evil. I figured the first full-blown beginning to end romance that we would get would be a lesbian couple because let's be real that's all Hedlin has been talking about and all the press coming up to it and then she wants to backtrack it and mm, I do actually have something else another reason to fuck you to her some of that press she's done saying that R2D2 is a lesbian and it's canon so I thought she was actually going to do that as well look I have no problems with lesbians friends with lesbians i don't give a fuck who you fuck i really don't just like you don't see me come out come out here and announce every day how many times i get laid a day by my husband you don't hear it because nobody cares no one gives a fuck who you are fucking so shut up leslie we don't fucking care we really don't we really don't but when you make it front and center and then you want to assign a sexuality to a robot. Okay, you can say what you want to say about C-3PO. Guess what? Kids don't pay attention to C-3PO and what he says and what his voice inflections are because the robots are for children. And for you to bring this up about the one who is geared towards children, and you know why you know he was fucking geared towards children? Because he was the only one Pro prominently in all six of Lucas's films. Plus, he was, uh, you know, played by a midget. They were very clear. I'm sorry, little person. But they were very clear that it was little people in those and in the Ewoks. They are geared towards children. So, shut up, Leslie. We don't give a fuck. And don't you dare touch him. You leave R2-D2 alone. That's all I'm saying. Leave him alone. He's a, he's a dude. They're very clear he's a dude. They call him he. And there's nothing sexual about him. And Disney, quit sexualizing the robots or the droids. It does not belong. Quit sexualizing shit that doesn't belong if you're gearing it towards children. Sorry, I digressed. Oh gosh, I hope I'm not going to have to make a part three. But anyway, back to the romance. <clears throat> Imagine my surprise... When I find out that they have our main character, Osha, wake up and her clothes are changed. She doesn't know who stripped her naked. She does not. She knows she's wearing her sister's outfit, maybe, because she only saw her sister for a split second. She does not know who stripped her naked and put clothes on her. She's vulnerable by not having any shoes on. So she goes out there and she watches this guy bathe. Okay. She comes out there, sneaking up on him, grabs his lightsaber. He comes out of the water. Okay, get. let me get this straight. So this man that she watched the day before slaughter Jedi. I mean, wholesale slaughtered them. The la I think maybe her last vision of him could have been him snapping the guy's neck. He just snaps his neck. This guy's fucking evil. You wanted to, you wanted, uh, you wanted to arrest your own sister for killing two Jedi, two or three Jedi at this point, and you watched this guy kill a bunch of Jedi in front of you, but because, according to Funko Pop Head in her stupid interviews, well, he's made himself vulnerable. So he walks out naked. They want to make sure we know he is naked. They, And they show her stare at his dick. Sorry, sorry. Cock, whatever you want to call it. Ding dong, do wacka, however much. But this is what really burns my biscuits. What burns my biscuits the most is any rational woman from the from whenever you get <laughs> there is a natural instinct to run away from that if you don't know that person if she knows all she needs to know about this stop it star wars this is toxic girls ladies shills raylos whatever the fuck if you are here at this point of this video you're probably not here probably the people who agree with me some men who like a southern accent whatever are still here 
This is toxic. This is not your ideal. This is not what you are supposed to be pulling for. You've seen people complain about Han and Leia kissing. Oh, he's forcing her. This motherfucker, Quamir, no matter how good looking he is, oh, he's good looking for a small, small muscle dude. Anyway, no matter how good looking he is, he's just slaughtered everybody. Hey, at least he took a bath. But he is walking towards you naked with his dick out. Your ass is supposed to run. He, you just saw him murder people. Him becoming naked before you and being so vulnerable, blah, blah. That is... Run from that, girls, ladies, young women. We are always... Y'all are being shoveled shit about a manly man being toxic. Toxic mas masculinity. This is a toxic relationship. Like, you can hear my voice going up. I'm so sorry. I did not think I was going to get this impassioned. I was actually calm before I started this. But this is the thing. It is toxic. So, this is what I imagine these girls are like. So, my Gen Xers. De Demolition Man. You have a very pretty Sandra Bullock. And she's, you know, kind of interested in Stallone. And he's in a di from a different century or whatever and she's like oh let's do it oh yeah let's do it and then they go and they're gonna do it and she puts on a visor and it's all like virtual reality this is what i envision these girls to be they think this is so awesome oh he was so naked before in real life you would run from that and if you don't run from that i don't know why you wouldn't but you know what this bitch leslie headland has victimized other women. So she wouldn't know what the natural instinct is. That's just me. Call me crazy. Call me a bitch. I don't care. I'll be a bitch about it. <clears throat> um, and, you know, you can drag me all day long. But I'm going to tell you, that is toxic. A woman's natural instinct to wake up in other clothes that she does not remember. Now, keep in mind, she's supposedly around these Jedi monks. So, she's probably not been around many, you know, romance, sex, um, you know, males, females. I think they said that she was actually flirting with the female Jedi, all that stuff. So, that's, that's my take on it. I am calling these women who are in charge of Lucasfilm the She-Woman Man-Haters Club. Uh, a good old little rascal movie from the 90s reference. They they just hate men. They hate Jedi. And another disgusting thing that this Leslie Headland has done that has got me all fired up is... <laughs> well, it might be a, a the woman, the man-haters club who has this problem. But they want to make... Um, they want to get rid of the concept of good and evil. That is the core of Star Wars. Not only is it the core of Star Wars, it is the core of storytelling since time began. Whether you believe in the Bible or you believe how, whatever you believe, before written, before writing, before, before hieroglyphs, before cave paintings, there were oral stories and there have been oral stories that last through today, by the way. Um, all over the world, the concept of good and evil, that dichotomy, the struggle, the eventual want for the good to prevail is part of storytelling for millennia. But these arrogant bitches think that they're going to turn it on its ear and explore all of that and get rid of good and evil. Fuck you. Fuck you, Kathleen Kennedy. You fucking Terminator. Fuck you. Monko Pophead, because we know you're actually evil because you've aided and abetted the victimization of other women. I don't care if you are a lesbian. I don't care about that. I don't care what you do in your bedroom. But once you start aiding in the essay of other women, you are evil. Sorry. That's just the way. That's just my female point of view on the whole thing. Um... 
But again, uh, the fact that they are taking that they have taken this series, we said that they would diminish the males, and they have. They have diminished Anakin's legacy. They're diminishing <laughs> Plagueis. They're making Plagueis a peeping tom. They've t they've inserted a senator who's because <laughs> he's. Oh, our show, we're going to be super smart. Our show is going to happen before the prequels. So basically, even though we're doing this 25 years later when we know how the story ends, we're going to predict it and we're so smart. Ugh, just, mm. I know, I'm on a bunch of tangents. I made like a little note to myself. You know I'm unscripted, but I do, I did like put some bullet points together of some things that I want to talk about and I think I've hit them all. Um, the other thing that, you know, that you cannot, <laughs> you know, you, you can't claim that you are smart and a wonderful storyteller and presenting art when you are going back on something, you know how the story goes and you want to subvert it. You want to make sure that Osha and May are doing the evil twin and the bad twin. And, oh, we're going to make it different because there are two of the same people. Whatever the fuck stupidity is that? No, the point is, is you want there to be a forced baby before Anakin. Whether it's, oh, Darth Plagueis saw this and he's like, oh, I want to create life. And so the force creates Anakin in, in, um, yeah, in response to that. Oh, well, we said it first. We're going to have a senator say first, you know, you are bad people, you Jedi. You're going to go evil one day. Your whole, uh, or the, or, um, the yes lady saying stuff like, oh, well, that will be your downfall, blah, blah, blah. Make, <laughs> try to make the Jedi evil, but when you look at everything they did on that planet is in reaction to something. So basically, you're too dumb to even fucking write them evil. You gave them uh, you know, some weird things to, I mean, but they, they acted reasonably, right? Um, what's her name's one with the force? No, she's not. She's evil. She's not one with the force. That's not her being, her turning into smoke. That's you trying to insert your bullshit. Go write yourself a witch story under another banner and take Jedi Sith, whatever. Take it all out. Do whatever the fuck you want with that kind of story, but it don't belong in Star Wars. I, I just, whatever. I mean, it's just very, very frustrating. Um, and, you know, I've basically checked out on a lot of stuff. Most of what I do is going to be old stuff and secondhand. And uh, please, if you have not seen my other two videos that I've made since my first rant video, um, you know, I talk I talk about the Millennium Falcon and why it means so much to me and share a wonderful memory there. So that's kind of what I want to be about. Um, last week, I posted an opening for a Ewok figurine because I don't have any Ewoks in my um, collection. Bought it secondhand and I was very thrilled to have that. So I'm still going to enjoy the old stuff. And they love to come back and go, well, you still have the old stuff. And we don't want you here. Blah, blah, blah. You know, we really should have gatekept these stupid ass people in 2015 or 2012. Um, whenever all of this started. Because for us growing up and us all along, Star Wars has always been for everybody. We've never had a problem with black characters, women, Whatever, and never had any problem with anyone else in the fandom. Everyone was welcome, and we welcomed these people because that's what we do. Because these are the kind of people that if it was 30 years ago, they would be the ones making fun of us. They are into it because it's cool to be a nerd right now. Cool, quote-unquote cool. Um, and so in, and but they're not... <laughs> They're not honoring, I think, you know, I'm preaching to the choir because if you've watched this long, you've probably agreed with me. But, unfortunately, we weren't smart. We did not foresee that this is what the kinds of people that they were, what I call now Taurus Locusts. They are not real fans. They come in here. They like the, you know, the drama that they create on their own. They like to piss us off. They want us to fuss back at them and respond back to them and of course we do because most of us are lifelong fans and we were bullied for it so you know your natural um thing is to defend yourself and 
and they're just going to dry it all up like they've done with every single IP and they're going to move on to the next thing. That's what they're going to do. Um, quite disgusting. I'm tired of dealing with them. Oh, and by the way, Star Wars, some of us lifelong female fans, bemoan not having um, romance. No, we don't want your romance. You're showing toxicity. You're showing women who are not acting the way that most reasonable women would act. Sorry, I just don't, you know, I don't know. I mean, if you're someone who wouldn't mind waking up with a different set of clothes on than what you went, than what you were knocked out wearing, and you see a man that you just watched murder a bunch of people and snap a guy's neck, that he's going to come out of the water, be naked in front of you, and you're going to go, you know, I think I kind of like this guy. I'm just going to stare at his dick for a while. No, I don't think a reasonable woman would ever do that. Um, you know, if you don't know what's going on and you just watched a man do all of that, now if you do, you might be mentally ill. Just saying. But I think I've said everything. I think I may have um, exhausted, not exhausted myself, but I may have said all of the things that are on my mind right now. I really don't want to make another movie. I mean, I'm sorry, another video like this. Um, I tried to get all of it out, but, you know, I hope I've uh, mentioned. Oh, by the way. Real quick. <laughs> I meant to thank her at the beginning, and that is gfx kate um for my awesome logo and my video um intro i really want to thank her for that i kind of squealed when i got that intro um and was so excited to use it i have upgraded my internet in the last couple weeks i'm trying to get used to it but it is better and i've actually re had to replace my phone um so anyway these two items if you are new to my channel were given to me by my brother-in-law so i like to have a little bit of the you know, the good stuff in here, our male characters. So who knows what I'm going to name this video. Y'all know I don't do a whole lot of editing. I just have the little fancy um, introduction and that's about it. But anyway, um, also, if you have not seen the first video or if it's been a while, we have a lot of people who commented wonderful comments last time. And it was a lot of lifelong female fans who feel the same way I do. So, uh, uh, it will be interesting to see if they feel the same way I do about Leslie Headland's writing and her stupidity of how she's portraying women, um, because she wants to show, because she liked Raylo's or whatever. But anyway, she keeps doing these stupid, oh, by the way, I forgot. This is the one thing I want to talk about. She keeps dumbassing. Her dumbass keeps doing interviews. And she keeps trying to justify her writing and explain it. Well, guess what, bitch? If your writing is piss poor, nobody's going to get it the first go. No one has to go a whole very much deep in movies from, you know, George Lucas. Because it kind of sets it all out. It, you know, expanded lore, whatever. But, like, you kind of know the character's motivations and everything. But, no, not this stupid bitch. But, anyhow, <sighs> this woman... Okay, I'm going to take a deep breath. I don't want to go off again because... But anyhow, she has said that <laughs> lightsabers signify phallic, or phallic symbols to her. Who has literally watched Star Wars their whole lives and thought about dicks uh, for the... For the um, <laughs> For the lights and thought about dicks. Like, oh, I think about no, it's for kids, you dumb bitch. It uh, I don't know how many times it has to be said this is for kids. Yes, you have some adult themes, wars adult themes or whatever, but it's still for kids, so no, it's not about dicks. Well, lightsabers are not cocks. I'm sorry. Dick dick do I can whatever you call them. I'm sorry. I'm not monetized, so it don't matter what the fuck I say. But anyhow, um and that I can't even, but, but let's just say Disney Star Wars has a couple of things that are supposed to be references to female genitalia. Um, no, even as an adult seeing Disney stuff, no, it's Disney, you dumb, mmm, mmm, I almost said the word, I can't do it, y'all, I cannot say that word, I was gonna call her, 
but it starts with a C and ends with a T. I think it's a Gen X thing. I cannot say that word. I hate that word. Cannot do it. I might type it every now and then. I've typed it about her and I meant it. But the best I can come up with is, no, you stupid bitch. No, it's for kids. You said it was for kids. You, when they send their bots and their shields, why are y'all so upset over something for kids? No, y'all are the idiots who are sexualizing it. A nice little chaste kiss every now and then, but equating late, <laughs> equating lightsabers to dicks and caves to other things, but only Disney ones, like the one, you know, Ray jumps into in Last Jedi and something stupid in that stupid show, Crap a Light. Or whatever. But yeah, I did, I'm did. i sorry. I thought I was done going off. But this this I had to go off on one more time. Because for someone who's supposedly into ladies, she sure is obsessed with some dicks. Now isn't she? And I'm going to end it on that. Uh, but anyway, check out GFX Kate. Um, I'll have her link down below. Um, please feel free to comment. Um... I did, uh, I think that, uh, I hope I don't have to make another one like this, but we'll, we'll see. I think this one's probably like, uh, definitely gone a direction that we're not quite sure about. But anyhow, um, I want to thank you all for staying this long. If you have, please like and subscribe if you have not already. And please comment. I mean, if you want to share some positive things about this imagery or, or if you want to rail against it must too, you know, of this ugh, whatever but anyhow i want to thank you for taking the time have a great evening everyone bye